Hey MFM, welcome, welcome, welcome to another lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to do a bit of analytical geometry. So here's a challenge. Feel free to pause the video, work out the solutions to see if we can arrive at the same answers. Point C, A and B form the vertices of a triangle and line segment AB intersects the x-axis at point E. Also worth noting, they give us these two angles, angle theta and angle alpha. So the first question wants us to calculate the gradient of AB. So this would mean that we need to apply the gradient formula. So the gradient formula can be written as follows, M A B is equals to yb minus ya over xb minus xa. Notice that I've used the subscripts b and a to go with the vertices b and a in the schematic. It makes it easier to work with. So now it's easy to substitute yb is 12 minus minus 3 and 4 minus minus 5. So this is 12 plus 3 and 4 plus 5. This gives us 15 over 9. The second question wants us to determine the coordinates of point E. Meaning this point here. We need to find the coordinates. The question is, what is point E? Point E is the x-intercept of the line segment AB. So, a good place to start would be to find the equation of this line segment. And that becomes easy because we have the gradient And we have at least one point to substitute in the general formula. So the general formula for a straight line is y is equals to mx plus c. So we can substitute the gradient and we can substitute the vertex b to find the value of c. So let's substitute these coordinates into the general formula as well as the gradient into the general formula. Therefore, the gradient is 15 over 9 times the input. When the input is 4, the output is 12 plus C. So now we just need to make C subject of the formula. That is 12 minus 60 over 9 therefore c should give us 5,33 units correct to two decimal places therefore the formula is y is equals to 1,66x plus 5,33 this is when I write the formula. This is the equation of the straight line written in a decimal format. And now because we have the equation of the line segment AB, we can find the x-intercept by setting y is equals to 0 for x-intercept. So 0 should be equals to 1,66x plus 5,33. And solving for x, we should get minus 5,33 is equals to 1,66x. Dividing both sides by 1,66. A for x should be equals to negative 3,21. Therefore, 
the coordinates of e is negative 3 comma 2 1 and 0 so the third question wants us to determine the size of alpha the size of alpha and in the schematic we will know that angle alpha is the angle of inclination for the line AB so we can use a formula tan of alpha is equals to m the gradient and this is all with respect to the line having an angle with a positive x-axis and to be more specific the gradient is the gradient mab and it's given we found it earlier on so now we can take 10 inverse mab which is 15 over 9 which is equals to 59,03 degrees correct to two decimal places but the question wants us to round off the answer to the nearest whole number so therefore this should be equals to 59 degrees and the final question reads if angle theta is equals to 76 degrees let's already note angle theta is 76 degrees angle alpha is also provided is 59 degrees determine the equation of the line a the line through a parallel parallel to bc so there's a line through a the line through a that is parallel to line segment bc so one thing that we should note is that the gradient of bc is equals to the gradient Let's call this MA is also equals to MBC because parallel lines have equal gradients. So to find the angle of this line segment, we would require two things. The first would be a point going through the line segment and the gradient. And if you analyze the schematic, it's very much possible to find this gradient. And if we can find this gradient, in turn, it will be possible to find this gradient. But the question is how? We do know that the exterior angle here, angle C, should be equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Once we can get this angle, we can use the 10 angle formula to find this gradient. And because these two are equal, we can find the gradient for this line segment. So what we can say is angle C should be equals to angle alpha plus theta. And angle alpha is given as 59 degrees plus 76 degrees and this here is 135 degrees so now we can use the 10 angle formula so we can say 10 of c angle c is equals to mbc which is also equals to m a because parallel lines have equal gradients this here is very important so now we can simply substitute 10 of c which is 135 degrees and this should give us 
negative 1. Therefore, the gradient is given as negative 1. We have all the necessary requirements to find this line segment. So now we start with the general formula of a straight line. Y is equals to M X plus C. So we have the gradient M A for the line going through A. So therefore we also have a point. So we can just substitute it into the general equation for a straight line. So when the output is negative 3, the input is negative 5 we have the gradient is negative 1 plus c so this is negative 3 equals to positive 5 plus c therefore c should be equals to negative 8 so the general the formula for the straight line going through a is y is equals to negative x minus 8 so guys if you found this video helpful in any way please support my channel by subscribing and please do give this video a thumbs up thank you very much for watching